Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm the CEO and founder here at Upkeep. And once again, it is release Friday. I'm joined with two of our folks on the product and edge team, both Jason and Spencer. We're constantly bringing new updates to Upkeep to bring more value to you, our customers. And this week we've updated our UI and specifically the login page. If you've seen the new login page, it's cleaner, slicker, overall just better. In addition to that, we've also made some big updates to our APIs to give you more flexibility when you're integrating upkeep with your different systems. So you can now set location-based permissions via our API. If you're one of our API users, let us know how we can constantly improve. Um, this is a big, big point of uh, improvement for us. On top of that, we're also making consistent enhancements to our cycle count feature. This was one of our features that we released several weeks back and every single week, it's just getting better. This week we've updated our location-based filters. You can easily pull up, you know, different uh, parts for a single full location really, really easily. And then last up, we're putting a lot of effort in improving our sensors solution, Upkeep Edge. Again, this is another area where we update our location-based filtering. So you can easily pull up all of the sensors for a full location super seamlessly. So with all that being said, let me pass it over to Jason. who will demo some of the latest and greatest updates in Upkeep. All right, thank you, Ryan. So as Ryan mentioned, um, we do have a new login page that is a lot cleaner and simpler and faster. And uh, you can see it here. Um, all the same features that we've had in our existing login page, just with a new look. Um, as well as if we take a look here in the edge section, um, we now have location-based filtering. So as we select these um, minor child um, locations, if we also select the parent locations, we get all of the children along with that location filter. Um, really fast, really easy to use, and it allows you to get to the data that you want um, a little bit faster. All right. Cool. Thanks, Jason, um, for demoing some of the uh, the UI enhancements and also edge enhancements. I'm going to pass it over to Spencer to share a little bit more about the updates we've made to CycleCats. Sweet. Thank you, Ryan. Um, all right. So pretty cool update here. When you go to create a new cycle count, let's say uh, you you know don't have time to count everything at a specific location and, and you just want to filter that list down to a specific area. So you can see here, I, I've got a, a, a fair number of parts in one location, but they're split between two shelves. If I wanted to just count everything today in shelf one, I can search for shelf one and then bulk select and easily add all of those to a new cycle count. Now I have a cycle count built that's just for shelf one, allowing me to sort of very specifically pick a group of parts to go count at once. Um, also, if you do happen to have, you know, a lot of parts on, on one cycle count across multiple areas, you can now sort this list by area so that as you print out your cycle count and perform it, you can sort of move through your, uh, your, your storage room in a logical space, right? You can move area by area as opposed to having to sort of ping pong all over the place. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I'd love to hear some feedback from you all on cycle counts. Keep letting us know where you want us to take this next. Thanks. Boom. All right, thank you, Spencer and Jason. We've been hard at work. We would love to hear a little bit more about what you think of some of the newest and greatest uh, updates in Upkeep. So go into Upkeep, check it out. Let us know what you think. My email is ryan at upkeep.com. I do my best to respond to everyone that reaches out. So thank you to all of our customers. Thank you to the entire Upkeep team. More releases in the pipeline. I will see you next Friday. Thanks again.